On Saturday, a narrow zone from southern Oregon all the way to southern Texas. If you're in this narrow strip, then you will be able to see the ring of fire. Saturday's annular eclipse will differ from the total eclipse in 2017, as well as the one coming in April of 2024. The moon is a little bit farther away from the Earth, so it's not quite big enough in the sky to completely block out the sun. During the middle of the eclipse, when the moon is in front of the sun, it's going to be outlined by a ring of light. During a total solar eclipse, the moon completely covers the sun, meaning you can view totality without help. During Saturday's eclipse, however, that will not be the case. Because the sun is always visible. So during the entire thing, you will need to look with eclipse glasses or solar filters. Making sure you have proper glasses is essential. So if you do have a pair of eclipse glasses, the first thing you want to do is check on the side. It should be clearly printed the following statement. ISO 123. 12-2. If it does not have that written on it, those glasses might not be safe and you should not use them. If they have that proper label though, you should be good to go. If you want to take pictures or video of the eclipse, you'll also need to protect your camera equipment. So you need to make sure that you're using a solar filter designed for that camera where it covers enough of the lens. If you still have glasses or filters from the 2017 eclipse, Lada says as long as they were stored in a dry spot and are not damaged, they should be good to go for Saturday. But now comes the big question, what about the weather forecast? Load up your AccuWeather app, plug in the place where you plan on going, and check the cloud forecast. Because you could be in the right place at the right time, but if the weather's bad, you're going to miss the event. Check the weather forecast for your area, and it might only mean traveling a short distance to be able to see it. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback.